Number 46, letter A. At what angle theta is the torque on a current loop 90% of it maximum? So if we're talking about torque and we're talking about angle, so we gotta be using this formula. That torque will be equal to then, the torque on a current carrying loop, basically a wire is equal to the number of turns multiplied by the current flowing through the wire, multiplied by the area that is experiencing magnetic field, multiplied then by the magnetic field strength, multiplied by the sine of then the angle between the magnetic field and the normal of the area. If you're not sure what the normal of the area would be, check out number uh, 42. So uh, basically what I realize is that uh, there's a lot of noise in this problem. All this stuff is unimportant, okay? Um, what I realize is that the torque then is proportional to the sine of the angle, okay? So in other words, um, in order for the current, excuse me, in order for the torque, right, to be 90% of its maximum, in other words, if the, if the maximum torque was, let's say, 100, right, then it would have went down to 90, okay? Because that would have been 90% of its maximum. Um, we have to figure out then what the angle needs to change to. So you can just simply do that by plugging in 0.9 here. This is an approximate symbol, but that you can create an equal sign here. It doesn't really matter. And because it's not technically equal, it, we're just approximating. So it would be approximately, uh, or be proportional to, excuse me, the sign of that angle. Now in order for me to then find this out, I have to take the inverse sign of both sides. Okay, so sine minus one, I gotta get rid of that, sine then, minus one, I take that value, okay? And this is now theta, would be now basically inverse sine of 90, make sure your calculator is in degree mode, or excuse me, inverse sine of 0 0.9, not 90. But that would be about 64, okay? 64 degrees, 64.2, I guess, whatever you wanna call it. And that's now what the angle has to be, okay? So from 90, it went down to 64.2. So notice that sounds like a big drop percentage-wise in the angle, uh, meanwhile, the torque only dropped by 90%. So now what would you do when it's 50? Well, guess what you're going to plug in here this time? You're going to plug in now 0.5, right? So when you plug in inverse sine of 0.5, the angle then becomes 30, okay? 30 degrees. And then when you plug in now 10% instead of this, 0.5, you're going to plug in 0 0.1, right? So take the inverse sine then of 0.1. Is that about 5.74 or so? So then the angle is 5.74 uh, degrees. And that's it. Those would be your answers, okay? So guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope that helped. Uh, please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.